now it's time to talk about the front end. First of all, as you can see, hopefully here, that the guide system is just too high into the chassis. The tires are supporting too much weight, and we want to fix that, or at least I do. My ideal setup is uh, just that perfect tripod where the tires are just making contact and they spin, but that the guide is as fully seated into the slot as possible. As you can see, we have, uh, we have plenty of room to get this a little bit better. So the first thing we're going to start with is the tires. We're going to get these in the truer. We're going to bring the diameter down a little bit and make sure they're true. With that said, we can get started. We're going to talk about the wheels and tires, and then we'll focus on the guide. The solid axle system in the Carrera car, it's not adjustable, but it doesn't have to be. It's easily popped out, and I like the fact that it has the bushings here like this, and it's, uh, it's like it was made to go in our tire machine, right? So it'll be easy to install the pulley here and get it on here and get these round. All right, all installed. I see no reason to try to glue the tire on the wheel or to do the wheel first like we did the rears. Um, it just It's straight enough, as I just showed you. We're just going to concentrate on getting this rubber trued and faced all the way across. I'm going to use some 180 grit. I like to use a little bit heavier grit that will get us through the tire fine. If you want to polish it up, you can use some finer grit You know, after you're done. That's why I like to put them side by side like this. I just do uh, one wheel at a time. That's just me. So we'll get started. Like I said, we're not going to go down too far. We just want to make sure that it's true. There we go. I just have it set right around six and a half. Don't need a whole lot. Going all the way across. With this 180 grid, it doesn't take a lot. It looks like you've taken away a ton, doesn't it? These Carrera stock tires are easy to sand get right through them so we'll bring that off and you can just tell just by sight just looking that you've totally got completely sanded and faced all the way across and that's really as far as we need to go true is true now we'll do the other side all right all finished i just want to mention that um there's no need to coat these tires to make any sort of a zero grip attempt because uh, the Carrera stock rubber, at least here, is uh, they're gripless wonders. So um, you could just leave them on there after about 20 or 30 laps of uh, not cleaning. Uh, they're about as zero grip as you could want them to be. But if you can't help yourself, you can go ahead and coat them, but I don't see any need. Anyway, there we go. We can get it back in the car. You want to make sure that the tires are the same diameter, or at least as close as you can get it within a few thousands. On my machine and others, they have like a bump stop system. I drilled a hole and put the screw here, did this one myself because it's an early prototype machine. And once I get to the diameter, I can just set that as my stop point, and then I can do the other side. But as always, you want to check with your caliper. So, there we go, 2245, and pretty much dead on the money same thing so yeah close enough now we can get it back in the car all right there we go now I've had the question will this help performance without modifying the guide well the answer is yes it will slightly I mean getting these tires round will help reduce the vibration chatter a little bit but in my opinion we still need to modify the guide to get that sweet spot that tripod at least I do for our track Anyway, I hope this helps you with sanding the stock tires. I'm going to go ahead and split the video up, and we're going to get to the guide modification in part two. And as always, really appreciate your comments and your feedback. We're having some great conversations about these cars. They're just a lot of fun, and they're worth the time.